Hello there everybody, George here, hope you're all well. Um, in a previous video we touched on the subject of uh, connecting your radio to your microphone via the DI box and uh, processing gear if you have that. So uh, in this video I'm going to cover um, making the lead that goes from the output of the DI box to the radio. Uh, so we have our XLR, which is a female. We have about a meter and a half of the Van Dam Mini Star Quad cable. And we have a quarter inch TS, which is a tip sleeve plug, okay? Now, for handiness, I've stripped the ends of the cable and uh, we'll go from there. So the very first thing you need to do is you need to unscrew the back cover of the XLR and you need to feed your cable through it. And you can just pull that back out of the way like that. And you take this out, this is like a cable clamp stroke insulator so we can just set that to one side for the moment and then you just push the socket part out with a pen or screwdriver whatever now let's get my little vise here I have a new setup here with the camera overhead I talked about this before uh, I have it in manual focus so there will be no hunting of the now here's where it gets a little interesting whenever you're looking at any of these plugs you need as i said before you need to look at them in this plane that you're looking at the pins from the back where the wires connect in inside okay and i have a little diagram here which shows us the story here with our cables. This is a female, this is a male, and this is your tip, uh, tip ring sleeve. Now, the only difference with the tip ring sleeve is you have a second connector. On a tip sleeve, you just have the one, which is the tip, and the sleeve is the cable clamp and this little piece of metal here. Anyway, so we'll notice here that the pins, you can see the way they're kind of shaped like this. Uh, wh what we have to do is we have to fill them with solder. We have to tin them, okay? So I just clamp this here so you can uh, see what's going on there. Now, just get me iron ready. Basically, you just fill them up with solder. Like that. I just need to tilt it down another little bit now. Just put the tip of iron in there and fill it up. Okay, so we need to get our wire ready now. So, what we're going to do is we're going to just strip these and tin them. Just get a Stanley blade along the top, along the bottom like that, and then just kind of pull them off. 
Okay. So we want to twist the two white ones together. Like that. And then get the blue and the braid and twist the two of those together. And we're going to tin them as well. Just clamping it here now so you can see what's going on. My hands won't be in the way. Clean the tip of the iron. And we're going to tin those like that. Like that. Just kind of snip off the excess. You can leave them fairly short. Now, because of the way these pins are shaped, you're looking at them, they're upside down, right? So, but that's not a big deal. Just put a bit more solder into that now. They take quite a bit of solder to fill them up. Right, so we have our wires tinned, and you'll see that the one on the that has the braid and the audio minus, uh, it's quite a bit longer than the other one. Reason being, uh, pin one and pin three, which is this one and this one, this one here and this one here, we have to connect the two of them together like that. So what we're gonna do, is we'll solder in this one first. Like that. And then we'll just kinda bend it across. Like that. Kinda push it in there. So that's pin one and pin three connected together. And all that leaves then is we have to connect pin three, sorry. So this is pin three, which is the audio plus. I'm gonna connect that in there like that. Right, so that's our connections made. So what we're going to do now is we're going to get our little sleeve. This is split, so you can put this on after. You just kind of open it out, put the cable in. And you'll see there's a couple of notches here. You'll see them in here. Right. These two side pieces, they kind of slot in there. Get in. Then we get the body of the plug. It only goes in one way. You have that notch pin at the top there. As you see, there's a notch in the top of that. So we push him in until he comes all the way to the end like that. And you just tighten it. So that's the XLR end of it done. That plugs into the into the DI box. So now we just need to do the other end with the tip sleeve. So same story, we're going to strip our cables. Now I have, there's no braid here. I've taken the braid away because we don't need it. Right, leave the braid floating. That's what that's called. So you'll see that on the attachment or the link in the description to the RAIN document which shows you all the different types of audio interconnects and how to terminate them. So I'll pull the two white ones twist them together and the two blue ones twist them together. Now we'll tin those the same as we did with the other ones. So 
So that's the two of them tinned. Okay. Now, we open up our tip sleeve plug. What we do is we push the cable through the spring and the collet. So we push them back out of the way. We take the insulator off and we put that on to the cable. And we pull that back out of the way. Now we get our plug ready. We're going to tin this. You have two terminals to connect to here. You have one here, that's the tip, and you connect your sleeve here onto this lug, and then this is your cable clamp. So we open that out like so. Put a device here. I'm going to tin it. Now this is a plug that was used before, but we'll tin it anyway. Don't be mean with the solder. Hold the iron on it like that till you see it flowing onto the plug. Now, so, We'll connect the tip first. That's the tip connected. And then we'll connect the sleeve. So that's connected now. So then we clamp our cable. While it's burning our fingers. Okay. And that is that connected. Alright. So you bring your insulator down. And you put it on like that. The idea of this is it stops the hot uh, short note on the collet of the plug. We connect it up like that. So there you have it, that's your lead on done for connecting up your DI box to the input of your radio, which in this case, uh, for this gentleman I'm making this cable for, uh, Tony, he needs a quarter inch um, tip sleeve plug to go into his 8 pin adapter for his Yesu radio. So that's how you make that. So uh, I hope you found that helpful. And uh, I put my email address on screen there. If anybody needs to send me an email, they can do so. And um, I'd be happy to help you out. Um, I am going to do some more videos about this because I get quite a lot of emails about it. So I think it's uh, a good idea to, um, to do some videos on it of how all this has to be connected together. Because, uh, you know, some guys think that you just get a load of stuff and connect it all together and plug it in and it works. Um, <laughs> I wish it was that simple. There's, it's a little bit more involved. So um, That's it for this video and we'll get you again in the next one. This is George. Bye-bye.